It's going to be the Tiger Game Com experience. I hope everyone likes crap. Fuck you if you like games. This is not the stream for you. What are you doing on Twitch trying to watch video games? What do you think this is? <laughs> Thank you for the compliments that I look pretty. I just, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. And I don't wake up looking like this. So this is all, uh, it takes a lot of, a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of... So what I'm thinking about doing tonight is I want to knock out some of the quote-unquote arcade classics. So I'm going to start first with Centipede, maybe. I know that the Gamecom has Centipede and Frogger at least, and uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess you could count Mortal Kombat as an arcade class. Well, fuck, I got the. I got the thing of games right here. Where are the arcade classics on the game come? All right, so I'm assuming everybody watching knows what Centipede is. It's uh, I don't remember who developed Centipede. I want to say Activision. I'm probably incorrect. It's probably Namco. Um, but they uh, this was if you look above my head, you can tell from the box art on Centipede that this was kind of at the same time when they re-released Centipede on the PS1 and was giving they were giving it a huge makeover, making it like a 3D drive around, shoot 'em up type game. You're not gonna see any of that on this one. This is just a straight port of the arcade version on the GameCom, but with the updated box. So one thing to watch for is this, that, there we go. Uh, the Gamecom, a, a second opening for the Gamecom, um, that's because you might also notice this is made in 1999. The Centipede was one of the last Gamecom games released. You had Centipede, Frogger, Scrabble, Monopoly, all of the Hasbro internal IPs that they had. They started releasing them in these updated kind of bubble plastic packaging things, Centipede was was one of them. Flip script. That's literally what that does. What's the... I don't pretend to know what... how the Gamecom works. I don't know if I'm just good at Centipede or if this is a really easy port of Centipede. Cause I'll, I'll be straight, I'm not, uh, I, I suck at, I suck at Centipede. Whoa. Uh, not, not sure it's supposed to, uh, not sure it's supposed to freak out, but okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> are you sure the top choice will kill game? Updated. Whoa. <laughs> We've got all the sound effects. So, um... It, it's like they made a bunch of really crappy graphics and then a bunch of ones that were a little bit less crappy and they, they're selling that as uh, updated mode. Let's see. <laughs> Damn it. I think that might be game Oh, that was game over, yeah. Well, that's the thing with, okay, what happens if we put, just put it on hard? Man, I love that 3D Space Cadet pinball sound effect. It looks like the spider's moving a lot faster, actually. In fact, it, it looks like everything in general is moving faster, even though it's still set to slow. Okay, that's... Now Now they're just fucking with me. So if I put it on hard, and also put it on... If, if I like it hard and fast, what, what will this do when I try to start this game? Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Maybe the movement speed affects how fast I move because I'm going ex extremely fast now. Well, that's the centipede. 
That's Centipede.